So continuing a series using AVR and MPLabX, we're going to start with importing an Atmel Start project. So Atmel Start is similar to MCC in the fact that you're able to configure drivers and software for a microcontroller. Uh, also, it has a built-in example project browser, which we're going to be demonstrating, and can export to a range of different IDEs, including MPLabX. I'm going to show you how Atmel Start's example projects work in terms of the principles, MPLabX start import, creating a project and compiling and running, and then using the standalone data visualizer to understand what's happening with the project. So in MPLabX, if we plug in the kit that we happen to have, the ATtiny817X Plane Pro, you can see a welcome screen comes up. In Atmel Start, we can browse examples, and we are able to uh, narrow down the examples for the kit that we have. And as we said, we wanted to use the touch buttons here. So let's see if we can find something. So searching for touch, um, we get a range of projects and um, let's just use the um, self cap example with onboard touch sensors and note that we can access the user guide straight away here basic touch application where the onboard touch sensors are measured and the touch state is indicated with an LED and note that there are some steps here to run the project so this seems to be good for our application and we're going to open the example so the project opens in the dashboard Note that any of these question marks here will open the Start User Guide and you'll be able to find out more information. QTouch tab here, you can see that there are two touch sensors representing the touch user interface on this board. We can export the project and download a pack. Note that we'll check that we have MPLAB X IDE support and that this works from version 5 and up. So let's download the pack. Going back to the dashboard, clicking on the project level, we can access the user guide again from here. And here we have the step list of how to run the project. Export the project, download the pack. We've just done that. Import the zip into Studio. Well, we're going to import it now into MPLAB X. Build the solution and make sure there's no compiler error. So let's go up to that point. File, import, start MPLAB X project. Browse for this touch project open. You can see that the device is picked up and we'll select the embedded debugger. We'll use the AVR GCC compiler. And by default, it picks up the, the downloads directory. So I'm rather going to go to my computer and find the MPLabX folder where I work with all my projects and then click Next and Finish. So the project is imported and I can click the Run Project. Just again, selecting the specific embedded debugger. It builds successfully and connects to the programmer and the program is complete. So let's see the performance here. So you can see that the LED is now coming on on the touch. So we can see the build solution. Um, press start without debugging, that's in studio. So run project is the equivalent of start without debugging. The LED turns on when the touch is made. So now we can open the data visualizer. And I have downloaded the standalone version of this from the microchip gallery. And it tells me that I'm going to set the config path to the folder that contains the data screen and scripts. So if I go to under source files, QTouch data streamer, this is the folder I need. So opening one of the files in that folder, right click, copy file path, and just remove the file name. Here I can see the data streamer files, which will be used by the visualizer. Select embedded debugger, show config path, basically paste in the path that I just have and click connect. Be sure to use the serial port, not the uh, DJI. 
Okay, and now as I touch the button and then the other, you can see that the two buttons are represented in different colors and I can see uh, a lot of the information here uh, about what's actually happening at the signal level for the touch project. And one more thing to point out is if we go to files that we can see an atmel start config .at start. Opening this, we see it's just a text file, so easy to share. Copy file path, go to atmel start, load project from file, browse, select this file, open, open selected file. And here we are able to reopen the project in Atmel Start and we are able to modify the software configuration. If we export again from here, we will have to create a new project and then manually merge uh, some of the source files that we've changed. But at least you understand how we can uh, still continue developing it in an iterative way. Thank you.